Hare Krishna, welcome to my channel Moon Nine Care. Today we are going to talk about our present life as well as our past life through the position of Rahu and Ketu. There are many other placements to know about past life and I will make videos on that too. Keep in mind if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And share with me what your present life aim is and what was your past one. So in this video, we are going to talk about Rahu in the 12th house and Ketu in the 6th house in your birth chart. When Rahu sits in the 12th house, it shows that you have some unfulfilled desire in your past life related to the 12th house. 12th house represents foreign, travel, spirituality and asylums, private life. So when Rahu sits in the 12th house, it shows you wanted to travel to foreign and this was your last desire. You had pending karma for the people who live far away. Your karma is also related to a foreign country or a foreign person. Also the 12th house shows isolation. Spending time alone for your own self is important in present life because in the last life you gave all to others. But in this life your focus should be your wishes and your soul requirements. Also Rahu shows that in, the, in this life your focus should not only be your place, it should be worldwide impactful things. Spirituality will give you mental stability. Rahu in 12th also shows the quality of being spent thrift. Reaching far away from your own place is your life aim. In your daily life, you have to do, deal with people of different religion and ethnicity. You will move out from home. In this life, you will go out of the box and you will take that opportunity, which is somewhere society won't like. So if your Rahu is in the 12th house, then Ketu will be in the 6th house. So Rahu showed you what your last desire was. Ketu is things which we have already accomplished and we were good at. And Ketu shows that you don't have to go there in this life because you already did that in past life. You have experience with that. But what happens is that we always go to Ketu's side because we are somewhere experienced with that house. So when Ketu sits in your 6th house, it shows that you have did so much hard work in your daily job in your past life. You provided great services to poor people in past life. You served a lot. That's why in this present life, you will feel frustrated towards daily jobs. And that's why you will try to move and do something different than others. If we talk about daily life and serving others, the sixth house is also the house of your own country. So you did a lot for your own country in your past life. In this life, you have to move away from your country and do something for people from other countries. You will escape from sixth house matters and your focus should be you rela feeling relaxed and traveling beautiful spiritual places. And foreign will help you a lot in this life. Also, you have healing knowledge from past. Use that knowledge in this life and explore the universe. Strangers can help you suddenly and many other unknowns will help you in this life because in past you did a lot for them. Also strangers can be like God to you. Many different religion people will also notice you. Ketu in 6 shows pending court cases can come up in this life. If Rahu is afflicted then it shows a very different sexuality desires. You will have a private life. Also, if I talk about court case, then this means in past life you were meant to raise voice for others, but you did not raise your voice for a particular matter. That's why in this life you can face court case issues and during that case, in starting, no one will help you and you will lose everything at one point of life. But later, as I said, some strangers will act as a god for you and will help you out. This also acts for those whose Saturn is in 6th or in 12th house. Now let's see some celebrities having the same placements. 
Marlene Monroe. She is famous for sexual symbol. She has Rahu in the twelfth house and Ketu in the sixth house. Nelson Mandela served twenty seven years in prison. Coco Channel having hidden affairs and famous for business. And the common thing in all these three is business. So, very much you guys should try your luck in business. So that was all. Hare Krishna. If you guys need any personal readings, you guys can message me directly on Instagram or on WhatsApp. Hare Krishna. Hare Bol.